Hello everyone, my name is Fabio Scopel and I will be doing an intro to ASP.NET MVC4. This is going to be a quick video showing you just the theory behind MVC and ASP.NET MVC4 and then on later videos we are going to um, be doing some code. So let's get started. What exactly is MVC? MVC was not created by Microsoft. It is used by Microsoft in ASP.NET MVC4, but it's actually a software architecture that was created by Xerox back in, in 1978, and it was mainly used in this uh, new programming language that they were building called Smalltalk. And MVC came to uh, be a reality because they wanted to create a pattern of separation of responsibilities. Therefore, MVC, which really stands for Model View Controller. The model is the domain data of your application. So if you're working with a uh, bank account, it will be you know, accounts, customers, and so on. The view is the visualization of, of it's the presentation layer of your application. And the, and the controller would be what's taking in input from the user, accessing the model and the data and the business logic, and then returning models, returning data to the view so then the view can render that. So that's MVC in a nutshell. And ASP.NET MVC4 was, is, is actually a framework built by Microsoft using the MVC uh, principles, the MVC software ar architecture. And they use that because it fits really well in the in the web application world where uh, data business logic and UI are completely separate. So that's why they use them. Also because, because of the separation, it becomes really easy to test and maintain your application. You will see as we progress through the series of videos that it's not, it's not a quick and easy, you know, get started with it. There's quite a bit of work for you to get started with building your application because you're building, you know, models and you're building UI and controllers so everything, everything is separate. But later on, it becomes really easy to actually maintain your application. So it's worth the uh, initial effort. The way that the user interacts in MV, in the ASP.NET MVC4 is that a user would actually make a uh, you know a user will enter a URL in some browser and that URL get routed by the routing engine inside ASP.NET MVC4 and the first stop is the controller the controller would then take in that request and if needed will go to the domain model and the domain model is the data and actually the business logic of your application and if needed will retrieve data from the database or persist data to the database and will return to the controller whatever it uh, the controller asks for the controller will actually get that data and send the view model to the view layer and the view layer it's actually the part of the this uh, a part of the framework returning the web page to the user and that's actually the flow of the data in the MVC4. More, more tangibly speaking, models are the classes that represent the data and also the, um, the business uh, rules of the application that you're building. There's actually there's uh, also logic validation inside the model. The views are the actual web pages and they are dynamically generated. We're also going to be talking about the new Razor View engine that is used in the MVC4. And the controllers are the classes that handle the incoming requests from the user. Like I said before, they, uh, they can um, access the model and they return data to a view or they can generate a view. Uh, controllers can, can send back a lot of things to the browser, but uh, one of them is the actual action result, with, which is actually the HTML that can be rendered by the client side uh, browser. So to uh, get started with MVC4, all you need is to install Visual Studio Express 2012 for web 
If you have 2010, you can use it as well, but then you have to separately install MVC4. Go ahead and download Visual Studio Express 2012 for web. You can use uh, 30 days for free, but you can register the product for free, and then you can continue to use uh, for free. Okay, it's completely free, as I mentioned, I think. All right, next video, we'll be working with controllers and getting started on the uh, empty ASP.NET MVC4 application. Thank you for watching.